Hi YouTubers, this is Larry up in Brandon, Minnesota. Little update on the self-watering rain gutter grow system. Well, we got people building them in Mexico, Arizona, California, Florida, uh, Texas, all over the place. I got some videos, I got some pictures I'm going to put on here and I'll put some links underneath if this is the first time you've ever uh, seen the rain gutter system, grow system, I'll put a link on it, how to build it and stuff. Take a look at uh, a bunch of the videos and the pictures, people are building them all over. We've also set up, a, like I said earlier, a Facebook page. Uh, you can just go on Facebook and type in self-watering rain gutter grow system and bang it'll pop up or I'll put a link underneath it, you can go to it too. Get over there and like the page, get on there, uh, see we got some really neat, Matt in Texas has got some neat ideas on uh, where I talked about uh, putting some bag systems like the uh, uh, grow bags on the uh, rain gutter system because they, they cool as they evaporate and they would work probably in hotter climates maybe even better than the five gallon buckets and stuff. Anyway, take a look at the video uh, get on over to the Facebook page, check that out and good luck, I'm still sitting in uh, you know, this is a winter in Minnesota you know, waiting for the snow to do, well, a little bit we have we don't have a lot, of, pretty strange not, not much snow this year but I'm chomping at the bit to get going in the spring. Uh, I've got 10 units and I'm going to build a bunch more. And I want to get a big greenhouse going and put them in my greenhouse so I can start a lot of plants early in the greenhouse in the rain gutter grow system and then lift them up, walk out, and put them outside. No transplant shock, no nothing. Give me a big, big jump. Uh, and a lot of stuff even in the fall I can move into the greenhouse. But... Uh, Take a look at all the videos, take a look at the pictures, oh shot, hope you enjoy it. This is Larry Up and Brainerd. Take a look. Bye. I was telling you that we got a greenhouse set up, and I could not decide what to put into it. It's our first year doing the greenhouse, so... What we decided to do was, <clears throat> this is a rain gutter gardening. I found this on the internet by a YouTube um, person called Larry Hall, or you can look up rain gutter gardening. And what is done here is, um, you take a rain gutter, and you kind of sandwich it between a couple of 2 by 4s You can see at this end down here, we have a float and eventually what we'd like to do is hook this up to our watering system or rain barrels that's what we have here and we're hoping maybe to help keep the water at a normal depth for the plants each of the plants has um, a little hole in the bottom let's see if I can show you on this one they sit down in a trough of water and underneath they have little cups that hang down into it that kind of wick the water up into the pot. It's an ingenious method and it's working really well so far. So I brought uh, in some spinach here, kind of doing a comparison of how it grows in here versus how it grows out in the garden. And I went ahead and planted some things like peppers and tomatoes because this is a warmer temperature in the greenhouse. And then um, strawberries. I have some strawberries in here, two plants and four plants out in the other garden just to get a comparison of how they grow. But our greenhouse is a little tiny six by eight and we're still working on it. I have some things over here as well. A pepper plant that's doing pretty good. Uh, one of my artichokes. But my husband says we're probably going to change all this so that we have a majority of rain gutter gardening like this in here. We're going to install a second row next to this one here and probably two on this side as well and then maybe even do something across the far end back here but we're not sure what yet so I'm really excited things are going pretty good I should say growing pretty good so this is our little greenhouse it's uh, hmm, 8 by 10 I think 
We'll put it in last of all. And this is gutter gardening. Rain gutter. It's rain gutter gardening is what it is. Down here, this will be a spot right here where tubing will bring water from our rain barrels. And then depending on the float, when the float floats up, meaning there's not enough one water in the trough, it'll add in a little bit that way from the rain barrels. That's what we're hoping to do. So this section right here is about eight feet long. And you can see how many pots of plants we can do. Um, we're kind of starting some stuff in here right now. I have some strawberries, cherry tomatoes, peppers that haven't come up yet. This is a full-size tomato. And I had four in spinach. And then on this side we have some uh, onions, scallions, shallots, and a couple that I haven't gotten to yet. And I even have space to put in a couple more. So, <clears throat> you can grow them outside in these gutter gardens. If you watch the video that I put up there, you can see that he grows outside. And then on this side... And I also have this little system set up. It's a self-watering gutter system that was invented by this guy, my friend named Larry Hall. If you guys want to know what this is all about, check out his YouTube channel. And you will not be disappointed. Because I live in a hurricane-prone um, city here. I thought that this option would be the best for me. So I went ahead and constructed this from Larry's awesome instructions. And what it is, right now it has rainwater in it, but I'm going to attach a water tote to it eventually. But for now, since I don't have the water tote and I won't have the water tote until next weekend, I am just going to do it like this. There's sufficient water in there already from the rainwater. And um, my plants are automatically getting watered here. Right here, there's nothing growing up yet because I just planted this stuff last Sunday. This is the bucket that has the Clemson spineless okra. This one has Cherokee purple tomato, sugar baby watermelon, straight neck squash, early wonder, beet and this plant was given to my mother given to me um, by my mother-in-law these are scotch bonnet peppers and I don't know if you know about the Jamaican community but I tell you it's like a staple <laughs> of cooking although I don't like my food too spicy you know that spicy at all I think that these come in very handy for seasoning Anyway, I just wanted to give you guys an update and, and like I was saying, I live in this place that is very much hurricane prone and that's why I went with this system because I could bring my garden inside of the house when the weather is horrific outside. So Larry, thanks you. thank you so much for sharing your idea with the self-watering container system because I think it will be um, awesome for me. The reason that I don't have it completely set up yet in the spot on the side of the house where I intend on plant, um, putting the system is because I'm putting up my wooden fence this weekend. And I'm going to wait until my wooden fence is up until I go ahead and completely put everything out there, set everything up because I just don't want the neighbors 
to know exactly what I'm doing. I don't want them to know that I have a vegetable garden in my yard. Um, you know, you can never be too careful. And if there's going to be an SHTF situation, I don't want people coming into my yard, taking my vegetables, or taking my fruit. Um, you know, if I can share, I will share. If not, mainly my garden is for myself and my family, especially family members who do not believe that there's going to be an SHTF and they come to me asking me for food. At least I could give them some vegetables, some fresh organic vegetables to eat and hopefully that will sustain them because um, you know what's in my household is for me I've been preparing for me and my family this year and um, you know I, my, my heart just I don't think will allow me to just say no you can't have anything so I want to grow this garden for our help for our benefit as well as certain family members of mine who don't see the big picture okay just thought I should share that with you guys and remember if you want to be like me I'm a survivor and thriver out Okay, here's a video of my first rain gutter grow system. I already had this one built a couple weeks ago, put pots in it, and I have a couple of tomato plants. This one here is an heirloom black prince. This next one is a hybrid, it's called patio. They're little cherry tomatoes. My romaine lettuce is going great. This is red sail lettuce, a couple of those. I bought these at the nursery. Uh, over here is a strawberry plant that I salvaged from last year. As soon as I put it in the grain gutter system, it started flowering almost within two days. Uh, here's some more romaine. Not doing so well with the butter crunch. Uh, one's not taken so good, the other one took, and I got two containers and I'm already taken Almost every other day I'm taking a salad full of spinach off of these. The reason I did the rain gutter grow system is, as you can see, a very small backyard. Uh, landscaped with a pool. My wife won't let me dig up the landscaping to put in a garden. And taking the pool out would be impractical to do. So I am building my second rain gutter grow system. Actually I'm building two more for a total of three. Here is the frame for my last one with the rain gutter and it's all set up. I have to drill the holes to screw it into the frame and then down here is a completed one. I just completed later this afternoon. I hope to get the buckets and get three of these things going and get some plants in them. Thanks for the great idea, Larry. Thanks for the time you put into this. And keep them coming. Hey Larry, this is Matt in Texas. I um, posted some uh, photos today of the uh, sandbag uh, pots that I had made and I decided that uh, I was going to use those uh, for all of my applications this year um, but I was concerned about the larger bags um, for my tomatoes and larger plants how I was going to be able to support those on the uh, gutter system. 
So what I came up with is uh, this. Basically, this is a lid to a five-gallon bucket flipped upside down, and then the 18 by 24 um, sandbag inside of this. Um, I, we call it uh, hell fencing, I think, or welded wire fence. So basically, you just wrap that in a circle, stick it down in the the bucket lid, flipped over, and um, you can either uh, fasten it in there with some zip ties or wire or whatever. And I think that'll do a good job of supporting my tomatoes or squash or watermelon, whatever I want to plant in there. But it's got a good base on it to still be able to put it on that uh, gutter system of yours. And then I also thought maybe if I would have left the uh, I, ha I had some 48 inch um, welded fence wire but I I'd cut it off so I thought maybe if I had just left that top on there um, and then cut out some larger spaces that could also serve as my uh, tomato cage on top of the bucket. So, anyways, just thought I, that I would share about that, and I'll put up the link for the uh, this size um, uh, sandbags. Thanks.